Yeah, good morning. We're live and this is a cafe in East County that is a big hotspot for breakfast and lunch and they have officially opened today for outdoor dining and over these past four months they've had to adjust to a lot of different changes and I have Brenda Sorrow with us this morning. Brenda, good morning. Good morning. How are you? And you just walked up. I'm sorry. What was your name? Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> good morning, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So what kind of adjustments have you had to make and now you're officially outside and the parking lot of your restaurant. Yes, um, wow. We've had to um, change the way we actually bring things to the table. To, so anything that we do bring to the table, if the salts and the peppers, it's all uh, to-go condiments, we throw that out when you're done. That way you're not you know, touching the stuff that other people touch. We sanitize the tables and then we have a separate towel that we sanitize the chairs with. So everything gets sanitized when you leave. Um, wearing the mask is very important, as you all know, and just keeping that smile going under the mask is really important. We have to... So how have you kept a good attitude? Because he said smiling under the mask. How have you, just as a business owner, still been able to be like, hey, we're going to make it through this? Yeah, um, every day you get up and you just say, we're going to do this because this is what we need to do. And obviously every time there's a change, you kind of you know, go, okay, what all do we need? I kind of make a little list of what we need to do, but we do it because it's, it's our customers love coming here and we want to keep that customer base coming back. So we make those changes. We want them to feel comfortable. We've definitely spaced all of our tables, you know, out six feet. So we do, every day you just get up and you keep going. <laughs> yeah. Well, Michelle, as an employee of, is Michelle, right? Yeah. As an employee here at Cafe 67, what's it like for you to be serving people outdoors now and for as an employee at a restaurant just all the changes that you have to go through as well it was definitely an adjustment but you know with like working in a business that you love so much you'll do anything to keep it open i love working here i've worked here for years now so anything that we can do to bring people in and keep it open doing that outdoor dining making that change made a huge difference for us and if we can keep that going that'd be great you know with Steve earlier and he said that all of the employees and people that come here are family. What does that mean to you to hear that from him? We've been with each other for such a long, long time. Everybody is just a team player when it comes to it. We're always working as a team, whether it's helping tables, whether it's kind of like working together in stations. So that just kind of brings us together as a family and um, makes us grow even further being here the longest, you know? Brenda, what's the best thing on your menu? You officially opened today and we got to get the East County back out here. Okay, well, our number one <laughs> seller during the pandemic changed. It's now the ultimate French toast. So that's a French toast that we take and we dip in egg bread and we grill on the grill and then we throw strawberries and whipped cream on top. The other popular things are things like our Gambler Burger, which has a little bit of everything on it. Also our California omelet, our Works omelet, chicken fried steak. Those are just some of the things that we sell all day long. We sell breakfast and lunch from 6 to 2. So specialty items like that. Yum. Well, you just made me hungry. <laughs> so yeah. if people don't want to come dine outdoors yet, they're still able to get these foods to go. Is that correct? Yes, we are. We're still doing our to-go, our full to-go menu. And we are doing that, that to-go out the door at 20% off temporarily just to keep our business flowing. And the full dine-in, of course, is our regular pricing. Well, Brenda and Michelle, thanks for having us this morning. I know it's opening day for you guys, so you got to get yeah. back to work. And thanks for having us. Once again, it's an exciting day for the East County. Cafe 67 is back open. Paul and Lauren, I'm going to send things back to you. But I also wanted to point some people out because this is really exciting. I got to meet Kevin Coffin's parents this morning. They're oh. dining right over there. Hi, Coffin family. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't. Oh my. Kevin's dad walked up. I was like, oh my God, do they look identical? Seriously, I was just thinking <laughs> the same thing. Wow. Oh, cool. Kevin looks like his daddy. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, that's got to be a proud moment. <laughs> Very cool. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin Casey. Kevin is running the camera. Our photog extraordinaire. He's the only. The man behind the lens. <laughs> one of two, two time PPR. The human tripod. The human tripod. He's a two-time PPR camera person of the year. Yes, that's a tough... Cancer survivor, tough as nails. He is a very special human being. Beloved member of the family. Yes.